Hi, I'm Paula Storm. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Okay, we're back with the amazing Heather Hopkins. Hi, Heather. Hi, Paula. <laughs> All right, now today we're going to take a look at some more of the slow and steady quilt along blocks, and we're actually going to physically quilt the, the blocks for you. Okay, let's get started on our next row. Now, today we're going to be working on the Wings of Eagles block, which is one of my favourites from the whole quilt. So, Heather, tell us, what did you do first to get prepared? Okay, so with this particular block, um, in all honesty, I kept skipping this one and coming back to it because <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to quilt on it. But uh, when I did um, come to quilt it, it was the last one left, so I had to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ditch quilted around all of the sections on this quilt. Um, on the blocks, on um, all of them. Okay, so every single block yes. was stitched before Ditch you did anything first. else. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. I wanted it to make it the feature, so I did my swirl on the coloured blocks. Um, before I did the swirl, I had actually come in and done a little quarter inch channel on both the, the coloured blocks and the background blocks on this particular one. Okay, so do you want to show us how to do that? Sure. So we're just going to pretend, this is just a sample block, so we're just going to pretend that it's been ditch stitched, and now we're going to go around and we're going to echo those blocks. Um, all the way around. We're using this beautiful variegated thread from Superior Threads um, and Heather did use a variegated thread on the actual quilt uh, on all of the coloured sections so the rest of it was done with a more neutral thread. Yeah actually I think this one had the colour. Oh and both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because that was just the channel. Okay. Um, now the reason I chose the, the, the variegated thread for the colours is because it went, went in with everything yes. um, that we had on here. So I've just got my ruler coming down, get that thread out of the way, coming down a quarter of an inch out from there. Yep. Um, now you can either turn, if you're using rulers for this, you can either turn your block or you can keep it going yep. in one direction. So it's up to you. Now if you don't have the ruler foot or you don't have the ruler option on your domestic machine, you can always do this with your walking foot. Okay, so that's a good option for those of us who don't, or those of you who don't have the Sweet 16 or the Simply 16. Um, yeah, so walking foot's a good option for straight lines. You just have to turn it a bit more often and turn your work. Alright, so after that's got the little quarter inch guard around there, then we just came in and did the little swirls. So we can refer back to the first swirl video. I'm yep. doing the swirls. These are just a little bit smaller to fit in the area. That's a, yeah, a good idea. So if you're not really comfortable with swirls, we did do a video one of the quilting phase of the, the quilt was actually on swirls. So go back and have a look at that um, before you tackle this. Also a good idea to practice first on a little scrap of, um, of fabric to get, to get the size right. That looks fantastic. Ooh. We're calling this our magic thread. We're totally yeah. in love with this thread. It just makes everything look better. <laughs> Now, I would just like to um, talk about the thread for a moment, if sure. that's okay. Um, on the actual quilt, um, which we'll put a picture in, yep. of the actual quilt, uh, there was a yellow block that was in yep. the centre of the quilt. Um, with my variegated thread, what I like to do is to pick a block that is similar in the colours yep. so that I can try this design, because if I went ahead and did it on something obvious, like the yellow one, it would really stand out and, and maybe look a little not so pretty. So yes. I go along and I would, would pick out all the pinky, purpley coloured ones first and then I came back and did the yellow ones and the green ones because yeah. they they did look a little bit different but in the whole big scheme of things they, it looked awesome. Yeah. If I had done those first I would have gone, ugh, I hate this and pulled it all out. Yeah, <laughs> so you're saying you want to practice, get the design right so that yes. you know you're comfortable with the design yes. by doing all the ones that blend in more yes. and saving those ones that are really going to stand oh, yes. out till last. Yes. Yes, so yeah. that's a good tip. Good idea, good idea, <laughs> great idea. Okay, so where did you go next with this block? Okay, so I'm just going to break the thread here. Sure. Oh, actually, I'm going to do a little naughty jump stitch <laughs> <laughs> over to there. Yeah, you're teaching me something new there. <laughs> I'll just do a little tile. Yep. Okay, so ladies that know me, I'm not one to do proper tie-offs and bury my threads. I will do little, me either. little jump stitches between my blocks. Sure. Um, so same thing on these coloured, uh, sorry, on the the background ones, it was just that quarter inch yep. little channel around them. And these didn't need to be quilted any further. Yep. So you again use that variegated thread in the yes. background as well? Yeah. Okay. And 
Yeah, fantastic. Continue to okay, so what did we do out here? So you just repeated those two on all of the yes. blocks? Yes. So what did we do out here in the border? Okay, so on these guys here, uh, I treated them as little corners and I just did a little up and down because it tied in with some of the other designs that were on yep. the quilt. So when we have a look at the whole quilt, I've used swirls, I've used my up and down, I've used my ribbon candy, I've used my bubbles and I've repeated those through the yep. whole quilt. So to okay. tie those in, that's basically what I did. So. Okay, so can you show us how you do that? And also I really am interested to see how you tackle the corner yep. with that up and down yep. design. Okay, so a good little tip with this one is to mark that little corner in with a, a marker. Okay. okay, so, so you've got like a teardrop shape. Yeah, yep. yeah just so, to give you a little bit of a guide. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to start on this point here and it was just going up and down. And this was in, actually in grey thread, not variegated. Okay, so this one's not going to stand out, it's going to really blend in. So for those of you at home, this is about just over an eighth of an inch uh, between each line. And of course we'll put the PDF up which will show you exactly uh, the scale of the, yeah. the quilting as well on the PDF. Alright, now when okay. I get to this little corner I'm just going to get in around so I can turn that corner. Okay. Okay, so that little marking was just there as a guide so yep. I could get around. Okay, so that's corner. a lot bigger than the rest but it will just blend in because it's a blending thread you're yep. going to see it. And all of those corners are the same. Exactly, yep. so it looks nice and uniform. Yep. Fantastic. I could watch you quilt all day, Heather. <laughs> that looks great. Okay, so that's our Wings of Eagles block. Join us next time uh, for our next block.